हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द सेवन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस टुडे आवर लेक्चर इज अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मॉडुलस ऑफ रेजिलियंस एंड द मॉडुलस ऑफ टफनेस दीज आर द टू डिफरेंट मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज वी कैन से ऑफ द ऑफ एनी मटेरियल सो लेट्स कम टू डिफाइन दीज टू डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज एंड देन आई विल शो इट बाय द ग्राफ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू डिफाइन द मॉडुलस ऑफ रेजिलियंस it is the it is the ability the ability of a material it is the ability of a material to absorb energy to absorb energy in elastic deformation in elastic deformation it absorbs the energy in elastic deformation the maximum energy absorbed in the elastic deformation we call is the modulus of resilience while the modulus of toughness is little bit different from that of the modulus of resilience here we have to the ability of a material to absorb energy in the plastic deformation or the up to the friction point so it is the ability of a material ability of a material to absorb energy to absorb energy in plastic deformation in plastic deformation or the or fracture point or up to the fracture point we can say so it is the ability of material to absorb energy in the plastic deformation or into the or up to the friction point so how i will now plot plotting a graph of stress and strain for example this is a graph of stress here and here is the strain so when the load acts on a material it start deformation and the stress and strain starting propagating in this direction in a material so what happens the material actually starts here the proportional limit and then it reaches to the yield uh, elastic limit after elastic limit here the material reaches to the yield limit so this is the elastic limit of the material elastic limit of the material so after this we have the yield limit right we have the yield limit and then it start the ultimate strength and like this one so the we can see the modulus of resilience we can define it that modulus of resilience is the energy of a material which is stored up to the elastic limit when the material is being deformed and deformed deformed and coming up to the elastic limit so up to this up to this point the energy stored in the material we will we will call it the modulus of resilience so this this is the energy stored the area covered by a triangle we can say is the energy stored in a material and this energy we call we find it by uh, um, um, a property we call is the modulus of resilience while the modulus of toughness is somehow when this is the same material and here i will plot the stress and here i will plot the strain so when the load acts on a material it start deformation and deformation up and here up, up to the elastic limit and there it will start the yielding limit and then it will reach up to the maximum ultimate strength of the material and then at last it will fracture here at this point it will fracture here so we can say now that it is the ability of a material to absorb energy up to the fracture point or up to the plastic deformation because after the elastic limit this is the elastic limit after the elastic limit we have the plastic limit this is the plastic limit of the material plastic deformation we can say this is plastic deformation of material so it is the ability of a material to absorb energy in plastic deformation or up to the fracture point this is the whole fracture point energy stored in a material so this area now we call is the this area stored we call is energy stored by material and we term this property of a material is the modulus of toughness this was the main difference between these two uh, mechanical properties of the material and i will upload more videos about the mechanical properties of the other materials and hope it helps you 
and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.